Racing, obviously big news breaking this morning about the immediate cancellation of racing in this country. The BHA decided to take the, uh, the manoeuvre to cancel all racing today at British race courses across uh, Huntingdon, Doncaster, Foslas and Chelmsford. They've all been abandoned today. To tell us more, of course, a very challenging morning, I'm sure, for all at BHA headquarters. Uh, Brant Dunshay from the BHA joins us on the telephone right now. He is the Chief Regulatory Officer for the British Horse Racing Authority. Uh, good morning, Brant. Morning, how are you? Yeah, I guess you've had easier mornings, haven't you, obviously? When, when did this first come to light in your department? Late last night? Yes, uh, information started to emerge um, yesterday, early yesterday evening, um, after we were advised by the Animal Health Trust of the confirmation of three uh, equine influenza positives in an active racing yard. Uh, we then put in place a series of um, measures uh, to understand where we were at as of last night and consider what actions needed to be put in place. And we called uh, an extraordinary meeting of our BHA Industry Veterinary Committee, uh, which unanimously supported our view that we needed to, in the first instance, uh, abandon racing today to enable us some time to uh, assess the um, situation mm. so that we can make further decisions from there. OK, looking at the facts then, just to confirm, it, it is three horses, we understand, found to be positive yesterday, all from one racing yard? Yes, that's correct, from an active racing yard. OK, and those three horses have had had the, the vaccine against EI beforehand? Yes, they have been vaccinated for equine influenza, that's correct, yes. OK, and you've, you've taken the move, obviously, to cancel all the racing today. I, I guess it, it, it's too early, isn't it, to put a time frame on on when racing could sort of recommence in this country? Yeah, look, we, we what we are doing at the moment, it was, a, it was a precautionary measure at this stage to give us time to understand the extent of possible exposure, uh, given that... Um, two horses from that same yard uh, actually raced yesterday. So we need time to um, contact all of the trainers that uh, raced at those venues yesterday and ask them to put in place um, uh, you know, horse movement restrictions, by security measures, uh, and for us to gain um, a clear understanding through uh, collecting samples for analysis and such like. So we're working as quickly as we can uh, and with with the trainers who um, you know, have been incredibly supportive and understanding of the situation we're in, um, to do what we can to mitigate the risk of this uh, issue spreading any further. Okay, and and you can confirm that it was Air and Ludlow race courses yesterday that these horses were found at. Uh, so, so just to be clear, the the horses that have tested positive were not at those race courses yesterday. Okay, uh, but. But horses from that yard, from the same yard. Yes, correct. Yes. Okay, so so the horses that have been found positive were at the yard, and they were not at the race course to confirm. Correct. Okay, and obviously I was, I was reading up on, on on things how it affects the horses, and of course it it can be transmitted, can't it, via people? It, it doesn't have any known consequence for humans, but it can be transmitted indirectly via people. We understand. Uh, that is correct. It's highly contagious and uh, an, an infected horse can shed virus uh, onto a human, uh, onto their clothes or their skin or their equipment, uh, and that can be transmitted in that way from uh, horse to human and, and such like, but it doesn't actually affect humans. OK, and it sounds like horses can be infectious for up to 10 days. It can be highly contagious. It can be, it, it can be sort of transmitted over reasonable distances as well, which is a massive concern, obviously. Yes, correct. I mean, the, the, um, depends on the health status of the horse as to whether or not it's vaccinated or unvaccinated. We're very fortunate in this country that our population are vaccinated uh, against equine influenza. Um, however, we're still establishing or trying to understand uh, what particular strain of equine influenza this is. Um, the fact that it's appeared in a vaccinated population um, does cause us some concern. Uh, so we're working quickly to try and understand what's happened there. OK, so, so you're working with the Animal Health Trust at the moment. And what happens next, Brad? What can we expect next from the BHA? When will you sort of make another announcement? Uh, yeah, look, we'll, we'll put out an information update uh, shortly this morning. Um, key, key to our decision-making is understanding exactly the status of the horses that we know raced yesterday from 
the um, exposed yard, the infected yard, uh, and we will have information in relation to samples taken from those two horses uh, uh, later this afternoon, early this evening. Okay, so it's obviously be a full investigation on, on to how this how this began. Yeah, well, this actually it's not a racing issue; it's a it's a horse health issue. So um, we do know that there have been a number of positive cases in the country uh, from horses uh, from other um, horse populations, non-racing populations. So um, this is this is not just a racing issue. This is a more broadly a, a horse health issue. So there's no no understanding of the, of the the source at this time. Okay, I, I imagine the government will have to get involved at some stage as well. The Department of Agriculture, I'm sure, will be will be in touch with you guys as well and to discuss what, sort of what happens next. Yeah, certainly we'll brief government uh, once we have a full picture of what's happening here. Okay, Brant, many thanks. I know you've got a busy morning. We'll let you go. Thank you for, for, for speaking to us on Sky Sports Racing and, and good luck. Let's hope we can get this sorted as quickly as possible. Thanks so much. Thanks to Brent Dunshay there, the Chief Regulatory Officer for the British Horse Racing Authority. They've got their work cut out, haven't they, at the moment at the BHA to try and...